another update of our 2021 kidding season. Uh, Liberty here had to go into the birthing stall on March 1st, which was this past Monday, and she ended up freshening and she kitted quads. This was our first set of quads on this farm, and she had three little doelings and one little buckling. It was, um, very very adorable they're all adorable two of them have blue eyes um and two of them have brown eyes so i have decided that the buckling will be weathered and sold as a weather and we will actually be retaining one of her doelings which is the one that i'm holding here and um i went ahead and went with an american theme because her name is rolling meadows lady liberty and um, so her little buckling was first and he is named Ellis for Ellis Island where the Statue of Liberty is the second one was a beautiful flashy buckskin doling and uh, she's got blue eyes and her name is going to be Hill Valley Amber Waves of Grain and the third one is over there and her name will be Hill Valley Pilgrim's Pride and the one that I was holding is going to be Hill Valley Let Freedom Ring and we'll call her Freedom. So with quads you know I was a little concerned you know oh my goodness she has a really good capacity and a wonderful udder is, but is she going to be able to feed quads? And so far, so good. They have all gained, been gaining weight, and they are all super friendly. And um, so I've not had to supplement yet. I do think that eventually I may have to. Um, we're just going to kind of watch them and wait and see. But so far, like I said, all of them are gaining weight. They're very active, um, running around. They nurse. Um, so anyways, they are, like I said, very, very friendly. And um, now on the website, if you're, you know, looking at our website, you will see that little Amber, we call her Amber, um, the Amber Waves of Grain, she is actually sold already um, to a repeat buyer. She purchased our uh, Chloe that we had um, the second year that we started breeding and it, she was one of Irma's um, twins that she had that year. So she owns Chloe and she now um, owns Amber. I'm just waiting on a deposit on her. Um, but the little buckling, the weather is available and two um, of the other doling, excuse me, one of the other dolings is available um, and we are keeping freedom. So um, with that said, Liberty here did that all on her own. She actually started pushing. Um, she lost her ligaments on Monday morning and she had, a, you know, all day long, no ligaments. And about 2.55, because that's when I looked at the clock, is when she started pushing. And by 3.30, she had had all four of them. And we were out here with her, of course. And um, she had all of them unassisted except for Freedom, the very last girl she was breech, and just because of the deal that happened with Coco losing her buckling that was breech, I ended up pulling her the rest of the way out real quick just because I didn't want her to take a breath while she was still in. So, um, but I wouldn't, otherwise I wouldn't have had to. But she really was unassisted, so that was, was really amazing. She's an amazing doe. Um, she's really earned her spot here at this farm just because of how easy she kitted and how great of a mother she is, her milk supply, um, everything. So I cannot wait to see what she does on milk tests. This is gonna be very exciting because she's a first freshener 
and you know that's you start wondering oh you know that's why i talked about the supplements um the the quads just because she is a fresh freshener so anyways i wanted to give you that update and then um i'll talk to you also here in just a second of uh, our other one that was so exciting so after liberty had the quads that same night um it was about 5 a.m when i was going back into the house i decided to check gloria and as you can recall if you've been watching us you'll know that liberty and both her and gloria were due on february 28th and so they were bred on the same day they were due on the same day so um, I checked her ligaments and she had no ligaments at that time at 5 a.m. So when I went back in the house, instead of going to bed, I just went ahead and did the laundry because, you know, we have the towels that, you, you know, we use to dry off everyone. I sterilized all my things, my things that I use to like cut the cords and um, put the beta down on the cords. And so I did everything like that. Then I went to bed. Well, about... That after we, I put her in the kidding stall that morning, just cause I knew she was okay. She was still eating hay. She had a while, uh, put her in the kidding stall and right out about 1.30, a little bit after that, she started pushing 1.30 PM on Tuesday. And um, so she ended up kidding twins. One is a buck, this one, and one's a doe. The really cool thing about this is she kitted Swiss kids, and that is actually out of Vista Oaks Rocket. He carries the Swiss because that was his mother, but they are so perfect in every way. Um, the buckling will remain a buck, and we will sell him as a buckling. And um, this is him right here, and you can see he's got some flashy, whoop, some flashiness on his sides. He's got some white, scattered white there, and it's on both sides. Uh, but the little doe is pure Swiss, where she's just completely black on both sides, and um, she has all the Swiss markings, and they have the longest legs. <laughs> they really remind me, their size reminds me of Gloria's brother um, when he was born. The buckling was really big. I did have to assist her getting him out. Um, I did not have to assist on the little doe, but they are both very healthy, um, nursing. Gloria, you know, like Liberty has been a really fantastic mother. She's a first freshener as well. So, you know, you always wonder how is this going to go? Are they going to accept them? How is it going to go when you're trying to get them to nurse for the first time? Because that does not always go great. Um, both Liberty and Gloria did fantastic in that area. So that was, that's wonderful. Um, the little doling is going to be retained, and so uh, just because I, like everyone else on the planet, wanted a Swiss doling, I just didn't really think that I would get it so soon. So we're very excited to have her, and both of them are blue-eyed, and um, so their names are as follows. The buckling is going to be Hill Valley Felix Felicis. I think that's how you say it. It's um, all my Harry Potter friends will get it. So, and um, this little girl is going to be Hill Valley Wonderland's Alice. And so, because I'm a big fan of Alice in Wonderland, so I finally have an Alice. So I'm very excited about her. Um, but they, like I said, they're both very healthy, very long legs. Um, they, <laughs> they, it was so funny when the kids have the long legs it's really hard for them to find their legs and they like move um, all at different times and so it's really kind of cute when they start trying to hop and they just they're just trying to find their legs so anyways but that is um but like i said it was all in less than 12 hours and so i was just glad i feel like this was a big milestone to get over because two does born on the same day um, was kind of a stressful situation for us, you know, because I am not a fan of, you know, both going into labor at the same time. That would be hard. But, um, but anyways, they did great. And um, our next one is Mercy, who is due on March 14th, and which is exactly a week from today. So, um, so 
So anyways, all these, we had six born on March 1st and today is March 7th. So um, any, anyways, with that said, um, I will, sorry, they were not born on March 1st. They were actually born on March 2nd. <laughs> she lost her ligaments on March 1st. Um, it all runs together and sleep deprivation is a real thing. <laughs> so with that said, I hope you guys have a great day and um, just enjoy the, the, the videos of the kids. Mercy is due in one week from today. She's looking really good. We can look around her as she grazes, maybe. We did her udder shave yesterday. Oops, excuse me. And she's looking really good with her with her udder back there. I like what we see. She's also a first freshener. She's one of the older ones. Um, really can't specifically remember. I want to say she'll be a three or four year old first freshener. I think three. But I could be wrong. <laughs> I'll try to list the date on here. But yeah. So, Isabella. <laughs> and Lily is just looking very large. And over it. <laughs> she's, we've kind of joked and said she's have, she has a herd in there. The first year we had her, she had twins. And that, one of those twins are Gloria. The second year that we had her, which is really her third... Um, freshening last year she had triplets and she looks about now like she did then so she is looking rather big uh, I don't think the camera does it justice she looks bigger in person than she does on the camera but she's the one that got her milk star in all three categories um, her and Irma but she did really well last year she's kind of like the little goat that could and it's hairy, but her udder's coming back. 
Yeah, I know. I'm showing them your udder. <laughs> this is her daughter, one of the triplets from last year, Isabella. From the Jimi Hendrix song. And her two sisters live in Mississippi. But I retained her because of her gold coloring. Remind me so much of her sire. Fields of Grace Z Zambra. We called him Hiram. So, anyways. So it's such a pretty day. I'm really looking forward to warmer days, drier days. So it's not such a mud pit. It's really looking good. This is Lila. She did so good last year. She earned her milk star as well. In butter fat and protein and I just really love everything about this girl um, her udder is beautiful she's due the day after Lily which is March Lily's due March 23rd Lila is due March 24th they're both bred to Vista Oaks rocket and this is a repeat breeding for her. She was a first freshener last year. This will be her second second freshening. Yep, I'm talking about you. She's cold and blue eyed. Here is her dam, Irma, <laughs> who is so friendly now. She wasn't super friendly when we got her, but she is now. But um, her sister lives. Um, with the buyer that's buying Amber, um, Chloe. So Chloe is um, twin sister to Lila. You can see Lila's looking pretty wide, and her udder is coming back in. So, and I think Chloe. I'm pretty sure she said Chloe is bred. So that's exciting. There's Irma. <laughs> she wants to rub on me again. Anyways, we'll see you guys later.